Yes. Local agencies are working very hard right now to get the message out there early about Child Abuse Prevention Month. It's work that lines up perfectly with Wichita County District Attorney John Gillespie's main priority for his past 20 years with the county. Zach Verdia spoke with a few involved in getting the word out, so Zach, it's only just beginning, right? That's exactly right, Lauren. There is a lot left to see this month as the display in front of the county courthouse will grow to have more than 500 shoes on the front lawn representing the victims here in Wichita County alone of child abuse or neglect. We, we try to take this month and wearing blue as I have on it is a symbol that you're aware of it. And if everyone would just do that and be aware, there'd be a great deal gained. Child Abuse Prevention Month raises awareness for an ongoing issue year round. And those in this line of work who see abuse and neglect every day hope the spotlight on this issue shines brighter. Um, where other people, I think just the details sometimes are horrific for them or the number. I mean, 565 confirmed victims of abuse and neglect in our county just for last year. That's a lot, you know, and our workers are, are doing a good job getting out there investigating and trying to get these kids safe. But there are too many kids who are being abused and neglected in our community. An eye popping number that many around Wichita County fight to reduce every day, including District Attorney John Gillespie and his entire office. And because this is a priority issue with Mr. Gillespie, it's getting the kind of attention and support and commitment out of law enforcement that we need. But as his role has evolved in his 20 years with the county, Gillespie's role as an advocate for abused and neglected children has only grown. I think my hair was dark when I moved back, but being able to come to work at the DA's office and finding my niche at being a voice for children that haven't had anyone speak up for them has been the greatest privilege and honor of, of my career. Especially once you get a peek behind the curtain and see the positive impact you can make in a kid's life who really needs it. So I, I still remember some of my first child uh, sexual abuse cases. You just never forget working with children that have been violated in the worst ways possible and learning how to try those cases, how to speak up for them, and now I get to lead an office and, and be in court, in court fighting for kids like this. It's, it's a tremendous privilege and a, and a great honor. With many local resources in Texoma, like Lisa Choate and the Teen Emergency Shelter through the Children's Aid Society, there are a few ways you can get involved beyond keeping your eyes and ears open. I think that so many people want to do something and they just don't know what to do. And it can be something little like baking dinner for a foster parent. It may be that you want to do more and be involved in a child's life. Go out and volunteer for CASA. Be an advocate for children. Um, we have several agencies that license foster parents. Perhaps you don't want to do something full time, but you just want to provide rest but give a break to those foster parents or a child that may need a little something additional. Sticking up for those who need it most, not just this month, but every single day. And there were so many more organizations represented at Commissioner's Court this morning. For more on them and future events for Child Abuse Prevention Month, you can find this story over on our website. So I'm glad so many advocates are so passionate about this and for these sure. kids are not forgotten. Mm -hmm. Zach, thank you so much.